Merry Christmas. It is December 25th. Can't believe how fast 2020 went by, given how shitty this year has been for so many different reasons. Um, but yeah, so the last time you guys saw me in a vlog was October, when I was down in Georgia for the Tracy Bird concert. And um, I've been on three trips since then. I just didn't vlog any of them because I was traveling with friends and family and I just didn't get around to it. So I've been slacking, but I did want to vlog this one. Um, I'm in Orlando, downtown Orlando, one of my old favorite stomping grounds when I travel. Flew nonstop this morning on Southwest from Manchester, New Hampshire, MHT to Orlando MCO. And I normally do Boston Logan because the prices are better, even though I live in New Hampshire and Manchester's like practically in my backyard. Um, reason for that was I didn't want to have to ask somebody to give me a ride all the way an hour to Boston Logan on Christmas Day. I figured it'd be easier if I say, hey, can I get a ride 10 minutes up the street to the Manchester airport? And that's exactly what happened. And another reason... Um, I'll tell you about tomorrow. There's another reason that'll make sense when I show you what I'm doing tomorrow, why I flew out of Manchester and not Boston. Um, but anyhow, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Um, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. Fl flew in midday, so I did see my family a little bit very briefly this morning before I had to head out to the airport. Um, yeah, I'm going to see my friend who lives down here later on. I'm going to stay at uh, her place tonight. And then... Uh, it's open-ended. I'll tell you what we're doing tomorrow, tomorrow. But anyway, just wanted to say, hey, Merry Christmas. And I will vlog my adventures today. Because what I'm trying to do is get something to eat. Nothing I want is open. Steak and Shake's closed. Polo Tropical's closed. Which is how it ought to be. No matter what kind of work you do, you should get Christmas Day off. So I'm running around trying to get some something to eat. And then I'm going to make my way over to Winter Haven. My friend is hanging out with her family this afternoon. And then um, I don't know what we're going to do later. But um, on my own for a few hours here. Rented the car at Dollar Thrifty. 50 minute wait to pick up a car. Which is the longest I've ever waited at MCO. But what can you do? It's Christmas Day. It was crowded. Ford Fiesta, 39,000 miles on it. This is my favorite economy rental car. The pickup trucks were too expensive. So I will check in with whatever I get to eat. All right, driving along. Just had a nice ride from downtown Orlando over to Claremont, Florida. I think I'm in Claremont, in, in or near Claremont. And I'm going to Sugarloaf Mountain, which is the fifth highest point in Florida. And the highest point on the Florida Peninsula, one through four, are all up on the panhandle. And I have been to the highest point in Florida. Go back about a year. Uh, there's a vlog from that. Uh, but right now, this is the highest point on the Florida Peninsula. 312 feet, I think it was. Sugarloaf Mountain near Claremont, Florida. And I'm just blown away. I could have got here fairly quickly from downtown Orlando on the toll road, but I didn't want to pay the toll and I have some time on my hands. So I took all surface streets and back roads and I've never driven through a part of Florida that's so hilly. This is the hilliest part of Florida. I'm just, it doesn't even feel like I'm in Florida. I mean, it's nothing like too crazy, but I mean, here, let me turn the camera around. <laughs> This is definitely the hilliest part of Florida. This is Lake County, west of Orlando. See what I mean? This is just not, I mean, it is Florida obviously, but it don't feel like it. I've been meaning to come over this way and check out this area and this hill for a while. I just never had time on any of my trips. Which I really have no excuse. I'm in Florida almost once a month at this point. Alright, so I'm pulled over. 
on the side of the road about to turn around because I thought there was going to be a park or, you know, a parking area or a commemorative marker or something, but there wasn't at the summit. And it's just like a little, like, area where you can kind of pull over and I, I think I'm just going to jump out there and take a couple pictures, but I'm going to swing around and head back over to it. There actually was a pretty dang good view from what I saw from the car, so I'm going to swing back up there and catch you in a minute. All right, so I'm driving back down again. Pulled over long enough to take a couple of pictures. It's not much of a place to pull over. I, it was like right in front of somebody's house, but there was a pretty good view, so I took a few pictures. I, I just, there was like a dog barking in somebody's yard as I was pulling up, so it wasn't really a chance to stick around long enough to vlog, but I will throw those pictures in right now. It's about 6 p.m. I'm in Davenport, Florida, where Interstate 4 meets Route 27. Just a lot of driving around exploring today. Uh, I'm still looking for something to eat. I'm very hungry. A lot, So many things that I would normally eat when I'm in Florida are closed. So I haven't figured that out yet. I'm um, staying at my friend's place in Winter Haven tonight. My friend is not home yet. Uh, she's at Christmas with her family. Which I actually got invited to uh, go over there and hang out. The, the way it was described to me it was just a bunch of rednecks hanging out in Kathleen, Florida in Polk County. And that sounded good to me, but I couldn't get in in time. So I would have missed the meal and all of that. So would have had to change my flight around to do that. And I didn't want to. So I would have had to go to Boston. Anyway, I already kind of talked about that. But So I'm going to eat on my own and then head over there later. And, yeah. It's a little bit later. I am on Interstate 4 at the Polk County Rest Area north of Winter Haven, Florida. I just got a Giordano's deep dish Chicago-style pizza. I was having trouble finding stuff that was open, and then I thought, go over toward Disney and all the touristy stuff, and things will be open. And it, and it was. And there's a couple of Giordano's in Florida, even though it's kind of a Chicago thing. But that sounded good, so I got a deep dish pepperoni pizza. I got, um, here, let me turn it over. Felt like cold soda, so I got a couple of fountain drinks at Circle K. Yes, they're both for me. And pizza. Sitting here in the car, I just finished eating. And I don't know if I've mentioned this yet or not in this vlog. It is absolutely freezing in Florida today. Right now, at... 8.13 p.m. in Florida, it is 47 degrees. The highest it got today since I've been um, in Florida was 56. It hovered in the 50s, like mid to low 50s during the day. Now it's dipped into the 40s and it's only just after 8 o'clock in the evening. This is, they're saying, the coldest Christmas this is the coldest Christmas in Florida since 1996, I read somewhere. Last year, I was down in Fort Myers on Christmas kayaking. Go back and find that vlog if you want. It's there. And it was in the low 80s. It was like 82, something like that, last Christmas. And I know that's a couple hours south of here, but the whole state is cold right now. Fort Myers is cold. Orlando, Miami, Tampa, everywhere is cold. Go figure. But you know what? I come to Florida so much. I'll come down. I was telling somebody the other day. I'll come down again in a couple weeks when it's back in the 80s. Last weekend at the... Um, put, not Puddle of Mud. <laughs> Last weekend at the Steel Panther Blackstone Cherry Concert in Fort Myers. I didn't vlog that, but I was at a concert in Fort Myers last weekend. And waiting in line to go into the venue, it was 76. But I'm rambling at this point, but it is just, it is cold. I'm wearing a hoodie. I got three layers on, and I could honestly use a fourth. This is as cold as it gets in Florida. All right, it's been a couple days since I talked to you guys in the vlog. Uh, I think the last thing you saw, I was 
laying down to get some sleep um, at my friend's place in Warner Haven. It's a couple days later. It is Sunday, December 27th. I'm on my way back to Orlando MCO to fly home. So let me just give you a recap of yesterday because I didn't vlog, but I do have some clips of everything I did. Generally, when I'm with a friend or family members or whoever, I tend not to vlog or not to vlog very much, and that was the case yesterday. So the day started, we went to the gun range in Tampa, it was called Shoot Straight, really nice place, nobody was wearing a mask, um, just good old, everything open and normal, which is nice, and that is why I, one of the reasons that I flew directly from Manchester to Orlando, even though it was a little bit more expensive, is because I could bring one of my own firearms with me in checked luggage, properly stored and all that. It's basically how it works. If you're licensed to carry in both states, generally you can bring one in, or more. No, I don't think it has to be just one. You can bring firearms in checked luggage. That's what I did, because I knew we were going to the gun range, so I wanted to bring one of my own. And so that was yesterday morning. I have a little bit of footage from that. I'll put it in right here. So after that, we went to Tampa Bay Downs, the Thoroughbred Horse Track, which was incredibly nice. I'd never, I love horse racing, I love Greyhound racing, it was my first time ever being there. And it was awesome. We only could stay for a few races for sake of time, but it was amazing. I got a t-shirt from there, I'm wearing it under this hoodie. And I will insert some footage from that right here. Seventy five to eighty one to one on the four. Oh God, please come on. I got a lot of lot of lot of money I know. We got a lot of money. Come on, baby, go. Yes! Go! Keep it up! Go! Go! No! Go, baby, go! So after that, we ate at a real buffet, Chinese buffet in St. Petersburg, Florida. Or actually, I think it was Clearwater. It was Clearwater, Florida. And just open, normal. I mean, other people were wearing masks. I didn't. Nobody said anything to me. So it was so nice. Florida is open. And after that, went to the Greyhound Park in uh, Derby Lane in St. Petersburg. It's the final weekend because Greyhound Racing becomes illegal in the state of Florida January 1st. And that was, um, as much as I love Greyhound Racing, that was a big letdown because uh, it was just not well run. They got, I would guess, there were probably 3,000 people there, which is a lot for a Greyhound track in the year 2020. Because it's, if you're honestly, I love it, but it's a sport that's dying out. And a lot of people just came out because it's the final weekend of the track, having live racing, and they were not prepared to handle the crowds that showed up. There was maybe eight or ten betting windows open for about 3,000 people, so there was 11 minutes between races, but it took 20 plus minutes to get through the line. So it was about impossible to bet every race. So I got really frustrated with that. 
and they were kind of mask Nazis in there as well. So that when I was waiting in that 20 minute line, there was a security guard came through and was like, everybody needs to wear a mask in line. And I was like, fuck this, I'm leaving. So me and my friend left at that point. We saw four races. And you know, I love Greyhound racing, but I'm not going to put up with crap, especially crap that makes it not fun. Um, but anyway, there's, there's other states that still have Greyhound racing. I'll be back in Iowa one of these days. There's a track in West Virginia. And there's, there's one or two more scattered throughout the country. But anyhow, that's neither here nor there at this point. After that, um, we went to... Um, oh, I'll put the video in from Derby Lane. I do have a little bit. So I'll put that right here. downtown St. Petersburg, walked around. I'd only been there once, so it was good to see it. Downtown St. Petersburg is pretty big. Skyline, tall buildings. Went to the St. Petersburg Pier, walked around, which was really nice. And then, um, yeah, I'll insert some pictures and videos and things of that right here. Then after that, uh, my friend was like, let's go see Janice live, just to, so you can see the place, because when I went to that Con Steel Panther Blackstone Cherry concert in Fort Myers last weekend, um, my friend had gone to the one the night before in St. Petersburg at a venue called Janice Live, which is like an outdoor stage set up in a courtyard. It's really cool. And we just walked by it just so I could see where it was because I'd never been there. And there was a free concert going on. Uh, so we went in and saw that for about a half hour. It was good to see live music in 2020, let me tell you. I've seen it a few times just because I travel and seek it out. It's always refreshing. I mean, it wasn't my kind of music. It was like a Grateful Dead tribute band, and I'm, I'm not into that stuff. But it was still good to see live music. And I will insert some clips here. Stop on Southwest Orlando MCO to Manchester, New Hampshire MHT, which is a little bit pricey, but like I said, I have a firearm with me, and I can't use Boston Logan because Massachusetts has some really, really shitty gun laws. I'm licensed in New Hampshire, I'm licensed in Florida, I'm not licensed in Massachusetts. And 
No, I'm not going to make this a firearms rant. But anyway, so that's why I'm flying to Manchester, which is like 10 minutes from where I live. So that's that's it, it's a nice little luxury when I come and go from Manchester. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'll end this vlog here unless something interesting happens between here and the airport. I'm coming into Kissimmee right now, so I'm almost there. Uh, returning this car at dollar. And that's about a good little trip. It was very cold in Florida. It's 56 right now. It's as warm as it's been the entire trip. It was down into the mid-30s last night, driving back to Winter Haven from the Tampa area. Cold as can be. But yeah, I mean, it's always good to be in Florida despite that. All right, so I will do a better vlog next trip. I promise I will. And this has been... I've had three trips since that October vlog in Georgia that I didn't vlog for one reason or another. So I definitely wanted to put this video up even though it's not that great. But anyway, I'll be back in the next one with a better vlog. So thank, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.